Bateman had uh, the big play. Ooh, again. 21.8 points. Um, I didn't know he was that fast. Yeah, I think, he, think I saw something at 21 miles yeah, an hour. We, we looked it up before the show. He ran an unofficial 439 at Minnesota's Pro Day. So Faster with pads on. Yeah, he was moving. Uh, four for seven in the four targets. or uh, Four for seven in the reception category. 108 yards, one TD, 71% uh, route, route percentage. Partic- percentage. Route participation. So I want to clarify that before we move forward because I don't want someone to – I mean, go ahead and at me if you want, at the FF Dynasty. But, uh, you know, a lot of buzz and a lot of hype on this route participation percentage. And depending on where you go and what you look at, the numbers might differ. And it doesn't quite make sense because sometimes they're using pass attempts as the number to divide by. Uh, PFF comes out with this article that gives you total team routes run, which is different than the pass attempts for that quarterback. So I don't know if they're taking out rushes or sacks. It's not both of those or just one of those because the numbers don't add up. But I went ahead and took what they gave us as the team total routes run yeah. and use that as the number to base our route participation. So it's only going to be like a couple points off, if off at all. I mean, yeah. So Lamar Jackson had 58 total snaps. That's about the max that they could have had. And Bateman was out there for 36 of them, had, ran 22 routes, targeted seven times. So um, any thoughts on being out on a little bit of Rashad Bateman because of like maybe, maybe outperforming what could possibly be in the coming weeks? for them because of the way they're using their wide receivers that you would say maybe you would, would want to sell high on Rashad Bateman right now. Redraft? That's what you mean? Either one. Redraft, not, sure. sure. You want to sell I'm not high on Bateman a dynasty at no all. No way. That no. dude looks too good. He looks yeah, great. I'm, not I'm, selling just, I'm just posing questions here. That's Mm-mm. it's my job. Got to post questions. You <laughs> sell, was selling high on Mark Andrews? Ugh. I mean, I'm not. No, I, you, you said, uh, I said Rashad Bateman. No, I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just throwing out questions. I'm not yeah. trading <laughs> Batman in dynasty. Redraft? You know, I, in, in the, I could be fine with that. Uh, and then we got the Brees Hall, Michael Carter situation here. Uh, Brees Hall had a nice little TD run. Um, and then, you know, Carter seemingly got a little bit more love when they fell behind a sure, good bit. Sure. He, he led the team. Yeah, he led, led him in rushing or receiving. Had five of five for 27 yards. Brees caught his, all, all of his targets for one yard all, one, one, all one catch it, all of his target one catch for a, a nice little touchdown was not really covered flacco immediately saw it diagnosed it hit him so i think the the biggest bummer here is you know you got you got Brees and carter and now all of a sudden fucking ty johnson's mm-hmm. getting in the mix here much like i'm upset about robinson for the ravens uh. what are we doing why is ty johnson in here 13 snaps to Brees's 20 snaps Two minute drill, getting six snaps, have more routes run as well. I think that I think that was more of a product of just them playing from behind, and they don't well, trust. But, but Brees can yet. catch. I just Maybe don't think they have the rookie, pass protection. It's the rookie. It's the being the rookie. Third down, six snaps to uh, the Michael Carter and uh, Brees Hall's one on third downs. Short yardage, all split one one one. Um, Michael Carter getting 36 of all plays. Um, early down work. Michael Carter pretty heavy, 24 uh, to 9. Brees Hall to 6 uh, two-back sets. Um, and then all the goal line going to Michael Carter, which was only one. But I guess deeper dynasty, if you have Brees, if you don't have Brees, maybe a little waiver wire add on Ty Johnson if he's out there. Mm. Just just in case yeah. they're giving you usage right now. Just I'm just saying on a deeper bench where you – where. I'm not saying in an FFPC with a 20-man roster. I'm just saying they're showing you the that they're not scared to use Ty. If there happened to be an injury to one or the other guys, you know, might not be the worst when you're sure. in the doldrums of the season. Sure. Also, Carter um, had one. And you one. can pick him up now for free if it's a deeper bench in Dynasty yeah. and, and just kind of stash him. I know I cut him in a league uh, with pretty deep benches week, while we were in the, fan, in the draft, I think. Uh, okay. So, you know, just – Throwing it out there. Carter had one pass block attempt and gave up a pressure on it, so something to monitor there. Sure. See how he's doing on third downs there. If he's losing the trust of the staff, could see a little more Brees on third downs. Still a little bit of a Brees Hall by window if you if you want to get mm. in. I don't think I don't think anyone's selling cheap after. Man, people just pan, panic mm-hmm. so fast, especially with running backs like that. Like JT yeah. was JT was Trent Richardson for yeah ten weeks of the season his rookie year. 
We had a patron tell us that he couldn't sell him for a second. And I was like, stop trying to sell JT for the for love of God. It gets, it gets wild. Wouldn't sell him for a second. That's what he said. His rookie year. His rookie year. Rookie year. But like the. Because he was. Everybody was like, oh, he's year. Trent Richardson. It just gets wild out there in a hurry if the guy who is, is, the, is this what happening and is this is what's happening in casual leagues? I I think it happened. I mean, in aggressive expert leagues, I guess it doesn't happen. But I think you know, a lot of the things that are said on fantasy podcasts, I wouldn't think you need to say. But those podcasts do right. really well, and I so <laughs> there must be a lot of people who need you to say it. Uh, don't so, sell, don't sell Brees Hall for a second. I mean, would you buy Brees Hall right now for a first? Yeah. Yeah. Are you thinking that hard about yeah. it? Yeah. Why are you thinking that hard about it? Because I really love the 23 class. Being dead bah. serious. Overrated. 23 class looks like stock's down a little Overrated. bit. Overrated. Looks like a 24 class. Stock up. Stock up 24 class. That 2025 class. That next single. Oh, but that 25 that though. Would, yeah. uh, Nick Singleton. Uh, uh, uh. Would you? There is back, no so, way that the 23 class can live up to the hype. So yes, you know, I probably will. all yeah. day, no hesitation. Send that trade. In, That's in, a smash. In superflex, too. Sure. Who knows? If that he, quarterback crop not looking so hot uh, right Anthony now. Anthony Richardson yeah. definitely stocked down. Ha, yeah. ha, and half of every first round quarterback bust. So let me get Brees, man. I know Brees is good. Brees has looked good on the field. Brees is showing us that he can do it. He just needs more than twenty snaps, and he's already out producing the wanna, other guys. You, I just don't want to lose that. I just don't want it's. It's the it's the bird nah. in the hand worth two in the bush. That's all. It's, it's not worth two though. There's no Brees that, is a bird that, in the hand. The price of the first round draft pick as Big Co was here can't go down really in twenty three for the most. Well, part. Yeah, I think it actually cheap, can based on insurance. how hyped it is. Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't know that it is though. Like even it's going to take until midway through. Uh, March before people it might be like oh, I don't know maybe it's a little down there. like this whole season people are going to keep beating that drum because everybody is going to be in a take lock situation even if it is maybe getting not as bad as it was nobody's going to really come off the 23 class not being as good as they once were maybe we'll get your boy Riley on and he could pump the confirmed pump up the volume pump up the volume on, on the uh, 23 class here I mean nobody was really selling Brees for a first in the in the rookie draft right like we even had we had McDowell on and and now he he wasn't gonna sell Brees for first basically everybody else but what has he done to like make you yeah I wouldn't panic, sell him you know yeah, what I, I mean like, at all. just not being the guy and taking over taking the reins he's also and the bull rookie by the after horn, two weeks right no I, mean, I agree I'm just and Michael Carter is out there breaking tackles and doing his job and I mean but the fact that he's producing so much and only playing twenty snaps to me that's like. Yeah, it's just going to keep you going up. You could look at it in either way. You could say, hey, why is it not a little closer and snaps? Why is he not just dominating Michael Carter? Um, or you could I mean, say, Michael hey. Michael Carter's not a Michael, bad player. Or you could say, hey, Michael Carter's a pretty good player, and we're just going to work this guy in and yeah. get him yeah. going and established instead of throwing it all on him and when we don't need to. I think we as a community. Also, under- you lost your fucking starting quarterback. Yeah, I think we um, as a community underestimated Michael Carter. I, I think. I don't yeah. think we overestimated Brees. I think we underestimated Carter. Yeah. And, and yeah, I think it's probably fair enough. Uh, yeah, people are, it just happens so quickly that if you spend all that money, that all the capital that that other guy that was a fourth rounder, which is what people love to say, that there's no way that Michael Carter could possibly be taking snaps from Brees Hall when, yeah. you know, he was entrenched and good enough and, and is good, a good player. And so here we are. Nick Chubb has the hat trick. Um, is this a, is this a sell week for Nick Chubb? Because last week it was he's got the third most rushing yards and whatever, and he was still RB thirteen or sixteen I mean, I or whatever. Um, he gets the touchdowns this week. Are you talking about dynasty? Yards. I'm talking any which way. Definitely not redraft. No way. You're not touching this man in redraft. I mean, depending on what my. I mean, in dynasty. I mean, I gotta say, Case, I I was completely wrong. You were you were right. You were like, look, Chubb could be getting more work with Brissett. It could be even better because Deshaun's out. And I'm like, how in the world is that the case? And then, sure enough, they're just running the dog shit out of it. Right. And Brissett, I'm not. I didn't give Brissett enough credit. Like he's facilitating that offense. Like he's, he's hitting game he's managing. hitting Kamal, C- Cooper on a slant and giving the ball to the. Two awesome running backs, and the boys are doing work. And the line looks good. They didn't even have the right tackle. I don't believe. I think he was still at Conklin. Conklin was out. I think he was out. Second game, yeah. And 
Granted, it was the Jets, but that, Mosley was out there fucking running around making that plays. Your boy too. CJ's back. Do what? Said that they lost to. He said it's the Jets that they lost to. They definitely should not have lost that game. Sure. But I'm yeah. saying, like, just just ridiculously, like, the offensive line was dominating for Chubb. And, I mean, I, that's what I'm saying against the Jets. It's not like the Jets. Yeah, I wouldn't say they someone were. you're afraid of on defense. Even though defensive minded coach, it's it's basically comes down to he had 141 rushing yards week one and no touchdowns and he's RB 14 or 13 that week and this week he has three touchdowns and 87 yards which obviously the 141 yard performance was way better. He had a huge run called back too. Um, and that 87 yards and three touchdowns. It's the TD dependency because there isn't a lot of receiving and caught more says, balls. Is this, is this your than window? Kareem Hunt? Is this your window in dynasty to try to maybe? sell Kareem Hunt or sell uh, Nick Chubb if you're maybe not necessarily a contender? In Dynasty, sure, yeah. you I mean, could if you're not, not a contender, yeah. You couldn't move Chubb in the offseason. He was getting pushed down. No, you had to keep And him. you have to wait for the blow-up three touchdown hey, game. Yeah. The best time to sell your aging stud on a rebuilding team is after a three touchdown game. So Yeah, I mean, J. Mike, J. Mike, tell, J. Mike will tell you any, anyone to if sell the running back on a second contract. Yeah, and three, three, a uh, three TD game. I don't know how much interest they'll if be. If you're trying to win, though, you, you're not. No, I'm not selling Chubb. Sound, you know like, what I yeah. mean? Yeah. I I don't know. You trying to sell Chubb, regardless? I, it's ne- it's never if been. You can about, get a solid return. I mean, after yeah. a three touchdown week, it's probably not going to get the iron's not going to be much higher than it is right now. Only, only be, you're right. Only because that there's there's just no luck. Like you saw it on the off season and all draft wise that he was always one of the best guys hanging around. He's awesome, but like. It's just like you said. Yeah, he's, he's probably RB13 he's probably with 141 best. yards rushing in week one. Like I I I don't want to hate. I'm not hating on the guy. I like the guy. He's he's probably the best pure runner in the game. We say that all the time as yeah. we put him down. Yeah, exactly. Um, I was just gonna say he's probably the best running back in the league. <laughs> right. Um, but you know, Kareem Hunt gets in there and and uh, but I mean, Chubb probably gonna hang around for another two years. I think in sure. Cleveland. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. And he's just, not he's not showing any signs of wearing down. No, he looks great. Um, you sell Chubb for a twenty-three first. I think I think I need more. I have no one you more than that. Right, and I think that's the the catch is that you almost have to undersell Chubb Chubb every time you sell him. Yeah, yeah. you can't get what the what he's worth because everybody's kind of in the same boat of yeah, but yeah, I'm not selling him for a twenty-three first in week two. Ask me again week ten. Right.